Montasia or Montasia fracture is a fracture of the proximal one-third of the ulna with dislocation of the proximal radius. Now, some sources say that Montasia fracture is the same as nightstick fracture. Other sources will say that Montasia has to be both the ulna fracture and the radial dislocation, while nightstick is only ulnar fracture. Whatever, Montasia fracture. Now, it's a fracture of the proximal one-third of the ulna with dislocation of the proximal head of the radius, probably due to a fallen outstretched hand. With forearm in excessive pronation, this is a hyperpronation injury. Nightstick injury, on the other hand, forearm is raised in front of the face for self-defense. Okay, as in karate, for example. Management. First, you have to do a neurovascular exam. This is crucial. Make sure that the vessels and nerves are intact, especially the posterior interosseous nerve, commonly injured in Montasia fracture. Also, pay attention to compartment syndrome. Okay, now to the management. As a general rule, for the fractured bone, we do an open reduction internal fixation. This is an operation in the OR. The dislocated bone, we do a closed reduction in the office or the clinic. The ulna fracture may require some bone graft. Okay, other sources will say children need conservative or closed reduction management, but for the risk of malunion, we can also do open reduction internal fixation. And for adults, all of them probably will need open reduction internal fixation, also known as osteosynthesis. Now, there are four different subtypes of Montasia fracture, and the management can differ, but this is beyond the scope of this video. Just remember, Montasia, proximal one-third of the ulna, dislocation of the proximal head of the radius, the dislocated bone, closed reduction, the fractured bone need an open reduction internal fixation in the OR. And we are done. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to get new videos every single week. Go to my Facebook page or my Twitter account for questions and answers. And stick around for the next video where we'll discuss Galeazzi fracture. See you soon.